Well, we've lost the grizzly bear, but wildlife biologists are working to make sure we don't lose any other species. Bonnie Stevens takes us into the woods where wild animals are being outfitted so they can better tell us how they can survive in a changing environment. Catching an elk is a bit like a rodeo for Arizona game and fish biologists. After the elk goes into the trap, the job requires calming hundreds of pounds of wild animal long enough to fit it with a temporary collar. Make sure that it fits good and gives her a little space so she doesn't get choked or anything. These high-tech necklaces can tell researchers a lot about the strips of habitat or wildlife corridors animals are using to navigate through a changing forest. For a lot of animals, uh, if you fragment their habitat, they can't get to resources like summer and winter range. These collars send signals to satellites that send signals to biologists. Every two hours, this GPS unit identifies the exact location of the animal. If you're managing for large ranging animals like elk, a lot of other animals travel those corridors as well. Northern Arizona University wildlife ecology professor Dr. Paul Beyer is very interested in what animals are telling us. He's developing maps detailing links for wild areas to help wildlife move across the land. We're creating landscapes that are more permeable than the landscapes we had um, a decade or two decades ago. With this information, highways are getting safer. Groups like the Arizona Department of Transportation, Elk Society, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, and Federal Highway Department are funding wildlife passageways, staying a step ahead of animals that are stepping out. We'll have the situation here with climate change that habitat is literally moving out from under the feet of wildlife. Creating crossings where there may be barriers is important when managing huge expanses of forest, says the Ecological Restoration Institute's Wally Covington. Restoration at the scale of hundreds of thousands of acres restores natural habitat so that wildlife can self-regulate, so that predator-prey dynamics can work out and keep populations in that dynamic steady state. One, two, three. It's a fabulous example of a, of, a, of a triple win situation. You know, it's better for people, less roadkill, more wildlife movement. Near Flagstaff, Bonnie Stevens with the Ecological Restoration Institute for Inside NAU.